Greetings, honorable sirs and madams, dignitaries, business leaders, and entrepreneurs. It is a joy to be with you today for this extraordinary event with the Asian African Chamber of Commerce and Enterprise. I believe in the great work that AACI is doing and am thrilled to be a part of it. I believe that entrepreneurship is the greatest economic engine on earth today. I think it is the greatest peacekeeping initiative any nation could engage in as well. There are so many promises that entrepreneurship and business gives, and it crosses borders, it crosses languages, it crosses cultural barriers. And what I want to speak to you about today is the messy middle. You see in business, it's much like having a baby or uh, starting a new romantic relationship. It's all amazing in the beginning and it's rosy and exciting and exhilarating and thrilling. And part of that thrillment uh, is thinking about what the end product is gonna look like, thinking about the child and adulthood and the life that they're gonna have, or thinking about this romantic relationship and you're going on the first date and just imagine what life could be like with this beautiful family and, 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 and the happily ever after. Uh, and same thing when you start a business, you don't start a business thinking about failure, you start a business and you're excited over the branding and the colors and the excitement and bringing people together. And perhaps you think about the exit strategy at the end of the journey, or you think about how big your company can be or the impact that your company will have. And so what, but in every situation, there's the starting point that's always exciting, and there's the end point, which is why, uh, which is exciting, which is why you started it in the first place. But everything in between, of anything that is worthwhile, it, in between, there's going to be a messy middle. And I want to give you three things that you can do to successfully navigate the messy middle, because anyone that has ever made a mark on in history and a mark on this world uh, and contributed something of great value there was extraordinary challenges that they went through, that messy middle. And so I wanna give you three things you can do to navigate that today as part of this great conference uh, hosted uh, in Accra, Ghana. And number one, to manage the messy middle is you must handle crisis. You must get good at handling crisis. When I was CEO of the hoverboard company, we had uh, over 300 Chinese manufacturers knocking off the hoverboard. Many of those would catch fire. I had to answer for that. I was a senior executive at a multi-billion dollar publicly traded company uh, when I was just 24 years old. And, um, and two years uh, into that journey, uh, we had a data breach. Uh, it was a very small data breach, and we were the first to go public with one. Uh, but that set a precedent for everyone uh, in, in any country. Uh, and because we had to testify before Congress, negotiate with the FTC, and uh, create a, a multi-year uh, response program. And that was just for 125,000 compromised records. Now, of course, the breaches are 30, 40, 50 million records that are compromised, but we help write legislation to prevent that and require notification. Uh, but the point is you have to be able to handle crisis. I've, we've handled stock price drops, uh, bloodbaths, uh, $49 a share, $48 a share to $11 a share in a matter of days. We've lost uh, millions and millions of dollars, uh, whether it's in different types of business endeavors or building but uh, or investing. But, you know, we always ended up higher uh, because of it, the investment into the education and the knowledge. Now, whenever people hire me or we do work for people, they're getting the ex millions and millions and millions of dollars worth of experience that they didn't have to pay for. That's that's the, uh, the, the perks and the, and the blessings that come out of handling crisis successfully in the messy middle. Uh, and in every one of those situations, we bounce back higher. We use the crisis to actually propel us. And that's how you successfully handle crisis uh, and manage the messy middle. Number two, you have to uh, create growth. You have to create growth. You create growth in, in several ways. Number one, you do an 88, uh, 90-day race. We have the book, 88 Days to Any Promise, uh, to, uh, to, to Any Goal, and it's the 88 Day Promise. And I, I'll tell you, I did, I've done a 90 day race and came 33 votes away from, uh, shy from a Senate seat. Uh, I have uh, uh, done a 90 day race and became a CEO. I've done a 90 day race and turned a company, a 29 year old company around that was doing $250 million in revenue, had not had a growth month in 15 years, had been declining in revenue. 
and after 90 days had their first growth month. Uh, I have done this repeatedly, whether it was a matter of health, business, finances, you name it, the 90 day race was the answer because success likes speed, success likes speed. And so that's what we are able to, uh, uh, to share with you today. It's been a pleasure uh, sharing and I pray that uh, you're, you uh, have great success in life and in business. May God bless each of you and may God bless Africa.